Hi guys! I made it to Vienna! Yay! Finally made it back. It's one of the other places I wanted to go back to other than Germany. I love Germany. Not yet. Unfortunately, it's raining outside, but uh, I'm just happy to be here overall. It's been, so far, an awesome adventure. Okay, so I'll tell you the, the story of it. So I get in the airport, and I was passing by Stacy. He's the drummer. And it's like, I saw him with a bag of symbols and he was on the phone, so I didn't want to bother him. But I was thinking in the back of my mind, it's like, oh, that must be Stacy. So I went to baggage claim and all that and went to the exit. I met up with Hubie, the guy that booked uh, this event. So I meet up with him and hugs and stuff. And the first thing he says, like, I bet you miss your boo bear. And he was like, yes, it's like thinking about it because my boo bear's not here, unfortunately. It's just me. But uh, at the very least, it'll be the five of us. It'll be me, Hubie, Stacy, and Lindley, and there will be a, a driver and technician with us. So, uh, but yeah. It's going to be an amazing tour. Our first show starts tomorrow here in Vienna. There's a club. Actually, it's kind of, yeah, it's attached to this venue. So it's like, uh, I guess like in some, weir some weird way, it's like attached, like it's a hotel venue, like coincided with each other. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still like mildly, mildly buzzed because we... <laughs> When I first met Stacy and Hubie, so we went went to have breakfast in the cafe at the airport. So we were having breakfast, I got a cappuccino. It was a caramel macchiato and uh, just some sparkling water. And I was like, you know what? I want to have a shot. And I was like, oh, okay. And we ended up having like four shots of tequila at like 10, 9 and 10 in the morning. I was like, wow, all right. That was That's a jump start to my day. <laughs> But yeah, after we got to the hotel, I was like, you know what, I need a nap. So I, I napped until like three o'clock this afternoon. I woke up and I was still like feeling that drunk feeling a little bit. So I'm still like mildly buzzed on it, but we're meeting up for dinner at around uh, seven o'clock. So I'm going to be leaving pretty soon. But yeah, uh, anyways. Okay, first off, before I show the room, I have to show you this because I posted a couple pictures on my Facebook on it but this is my brand new pedal board and I absolutely love it it's a temple board so it, it's hard to see but it's basically kind of like a grate almost or it's like like a metal thing it has all these holes and stuff but basically you put these plates in the back of the pedals and they have um, an adhesive on on the back of the uh, the plates so you stick them in the back rather than using Velcro and they have like these little screws and you can put it anywhere on the board it, and they just, they actually stick there. It's amazing. It's so much better than Velcro. I love them to death. And it's just like, I'm never going to go back to it. <laughs> but um, it's kind of a brand new company. I think they've been out for a year. I saw them when we went to the NAMM show and I was just so intrigued by it. And my boot bear says, oh my god, just so much later. And it is. I was so shocked. It's made of like aluminum. And when I lift it just by itself, it was so light to pick up. And then I put the pedals, of course it's heavy, but compared to the board that I had, it was just this black like uh, plywood or something that my tech made. And it's so heavy and it comes with its own road case from the Cirque Tour. And it's just like, it was such a pain to carry around. And I mean, it's still kind of a fairly big board but it's much smaller compared to the one that I had and it's much lighter, easier for me to carry around at least. Like I can, it has a strap on it so I can put it on my shoulder. It's still heavy, but it's much lighter and much easier to lug around. Um, but yeah, I'll post a link to that at Temple Boards and you can get them in custom sizes. Like they, ha they have some pre-made, but you can make your own size and, and all that. They're expensive, but definitely worth it. Um, Oh yeah, and then the, the power box, I put it underneath too. That, I love that. You can just put it right underneath and you can't even tell the difference. And they have um, LED strips that you can put on it too. I love it. I didn't order any, but at some point when I can afford it, then I'll put an LED strip on there. But yeah, let's move on to the room. It's pretty cool. So this is my room. It has the two beds and this cute little doorway it's just like the dressers here and then there's a little desk and then my view is just the bus stop and a couple of little buildings and stuff lots of traffic and then even more traffic 
Lots and lots of traffic. Streets are small here. But yeah, I guess like with this, um, the hotel, um, the hotel combines with the venue, I guess. Cause the venue is like right downstairs where we're playing tomorrow. But yeah, so it makes it a little bit easier. But I think most of them are gonna be like that for, for the rest of the tour. It's supposed to be pretty easy. And, and there's probably like a couple that we're driving to, but for the most part, they should be pretty easy. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, oh, I didn't show the bathroom yet before you do it. So this bathroom is really, really cute. I love the shower. It reminds me of like a time capsule or something. It's so sick. Shower! <laughs> so random. But um, since my bull bear can't be here, he let me bring this stuffy that he gave me. His name is Blaze, actually. <laughs> yes, that's the actual name. And his mouth zips up. There's like a little zipper on there so you can like, hold on, I'll put this down real quick. Unfortunately, this is here. But yeah, the mouth zips up so you can close it and open it, but you can put stuff in his mouth. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, that's weird. But I love this stuffy. My bull bear can't be here, so I have to have somebody to cuddle with, so it'll be just cute stuffy. Stuffy! But, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, our first show is tomorrow. I think the only day we're gonna have off is the 11th, but for the most part, we're gonna be having a show every day. I'm really, really excited about it, actually. Slash, somewhat nervous. I only say that because I've never played jazz music before, so it's like I was listening to the songs that were sent to me. They were really good, good, good songs. Um, but um, a couple of them were pretty easy, but I wanted to learn more about jazz. I just, like, I never really got around to it because I'm mostly a rock and blues-based person, but it's definitely something I want to learn more of down the road, but I guess this is a good start to learn. <laughs> But yeah, it'll be a composition with some of my songs, and then we're going to be playing some Almond Brothers stuff and some other like jazz tunes and stuff. It's going to be a fun show, and I'm excited to be able to do this. It's a great, great opportunity. Thank you so much, Hubie. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. But before I go, I just want to give another shout out to Techman5150. It's um, my boyfriend's little brother. I just I always have to give a shout out to him because I know he's always watching him. So, hi from Vienna, <laughs> and uh, I know she's not going to expect this, but my international bestie from the UK, I want to say happy birthday to Talia, and I miss you so much, I love you, and I hope that we see each other really, really soon. It sucks that we didn't get to last year, even though you were in the States, and we were like just all over the place with the tour still up until August, and by that time you were already back in the UK, so... I'm hoping at some point we can meet up again. I really miss you like every day. I literally like I see your Facebook posts all the time. I just like I remember the time when we met back in Zurich and we were having chocolate together and we uh, stayed in the hotel and had Belgian waffles and everything. Just went around exploring. It was so much fun. I, I never forget that day. Just I look back all the time and that's all I can think about. <laughs> so happy birthday Talia. Have a have a drink for me on your 21st birthday. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye!